everyone, how's it going? Matthew Bailey Media here, and welcome to another 2022 uh, movie review. Excuse me, and this time it's going to be on a streaming movie that I gotta be honest, I was kind of surprised about this movie, especially because it stars someone who I th have not seen in a movie since either Freaky Friday or Herbie, or were the last two movies I remember seeing him at, her in. And and that was the actress Lindsay Lohan, who, again, two movies that I just named out as something I've seen her in, but the Herbie and The Parent Trap are the main two movies that I know her from, and uh, and like I said, I heard I thought I kept hearing something that she was having some struggles with something, and I didn't know what that was about. So I thought I'd never see her in any film again, but it seems, sounded like she's getting her career back on track with acting, and this is one of the first movies she's been in since that happened, and it is the Netflix film Falling for Christmas. And I gotta be honest, when I saw this movie, it kinda gave me Overboard uh, vibes. If you remember the movie Overboard, there's the one that had Kurt Russell in it, that was the main classic one, and then there's the one from 2018 that not a lot of people liked because it kind of ruined the iconic original, with, especially when they gender swapped the rich person in the story. However, this one kind of took it back to basics when it comes to that type of story, where where someone gets amnesia, and that was... um. And this was that was who Lindsay Lohan was playing. She was playing like a rich uh, hotel manager's daughter, and she didn't she didn't usually do a lot of stuff herself or for herself for that matter. And then while on a ski trip, a skiing outing with her so-called fiance, she um, she falls down the slope and ends up getting, hitting her head on a tree, causing her to have amnesia, not even remembering who she was. And I gotta say, this kind of gave me the, the same vibes as the one that had Kurt Russell as the poor uh, person. However, in this scenario, the poor person in the movie was a guy named Jake, who runs a lodge that he who he tried to ask um, her father for help and didn't realize it. I will say though, this the fact that this gave me the same over vibes as Overboard, the one with Kurt Russell in it. I tell you, it definitely felt like they got, they did a little bit better at telling us that type of story, except instead of it being on a boat, she was, on, she was, she fell off the, the mountain on a ski, at a ski lodge. So that is one difference, and, and plus this is a Christmas based, it's not um, summer based like the f overboard was. but. I will say I kind of like Lindsay Lohan in the in the role that she played. Her her character's name was Sierra, but but when she lost her memories, she becomes Sarah. And I think that was kind of cool that the way that she did it and and I, again, it gave me overboard vibes. It really did. And I still think it's a de it's definitely a lot better telling of the story than the 2018 Overboard did. And I definitely say that if I had to rank all three movies, this one would probably be second place behind the original Overboard. And I tell you, I was again, I was I have not seen Lindsay Lohan in a, in a movie since Herbie and Freaky Friday. I think were the latest two movies she was in that I know of before you know her big break due to whatever was going on with her life. Um, but I will say this movie is definitely. And putting her back on track, especially with the way this, the story was told, and um, especially again because it gave me overboard vibes. And I recommend definitely watching this on Netflix. That's the thing; it's also on Netflix. So if you have a Netflix subscription, go watch this movie. It's definitely something I did not think I would enjoy, but it's definitely something I recommend. But anyways, let me give you my rating of the movie. So for my rating of um, Falling for Christmas, again, definitely gave me some overboard vibes from the the ones from the one from the original overboard, not the new one, and it definitely lived up to the 
potential that Lindsay Lohan could get her for when it comes to getting her life back on track. So I'm going to have to give Falling for Christmas a three and a half out of five. Yep. Three and a half out of five is what I would give this movie. If I have to give the the two Overboard films ratings, the original, I would definitely give a four. And the 2018 one, I would probably give like a two and a half. So, so yeah, this one, Falling for Christmas and the original Overboard are probably my two favorite ones out of the three. Yeah, even though this one's not called Overboard, it's called Falling for Christmas, but... Um, Again, it gave me Overboard vibes, so that's why I kind of attached it with the two films. But anyways, that's all for now in this uh, movie review. And like I said, the next movie review I'm probably going to be doing after this is for Disenchanted. So keep an eye out for that. And as always, I will see all you guys in the next video.